Okay, well I guess it's time to build a motor and put this circuit that we're mucking around with to use. I do have it running on a uh, small old pulse motor at the moment, but we want to make something a little bit better than that. So I'm going to um, go in the direction that uh, John has and uh, build myself a stator motor. This here I rescued out of an old motorcycle engine, it's a three phase generator and it just so happens to have 12 poles on it which is the same as what John's motors have so uh, that will come in really handy the heart of the motor itself um, as you can see the wires are way too thick so we'll have to peel all that off and rewind it I am going to rewind it a little differently because I want each magnet on the rotor alternating from north to south so we'll have to wind one coil one way and the next one the other way. Um, this is purely to stop the core becoming magnetised, so, uh, which they do have a habit of doing, and then the motor becomes weak. So if we keep passing opposite poles across the cores, that seems to keep the magnetic field in the cores neutral, as in they don't obtain one. Okay, so that was our vital part. Uh, the next part we needed was a rotor, which I have here is an old motorcycle flywheel. And it had uh, the magnets in it were no good, the old ceramic magnets, and there was only four poles. So I simply sat this on top of the gas cooktop, heated it up, burnt all the glue out, and the old magnets just slid straight out. So what I'll have to do here is uh, drill out these six blind rivets that are holding the uh, big steel boss on, get rid of that and then um, we will make up a hub to fit our rotor and of course our magnets will be glued in here. Our hub assembly and bearing carrier is going to come from this old thermo fan off a radiator out of a motor vehicle. Um, it has a uh, very nice smooth bearing hub in it. So of course we'll uh, machine that up, make up a sleeve so that fits in there nice and snug and centralises it and then we'll um, drill out all these rivets in here and then take the uh, shaft carrier off, machine that down to fit back on where this steel piece here is, our steel boss so then it will become aluminium and it won't have any lens drag on the motor is because the uh, magnetic fields will be turning with the aluminium. So that's where we're at at the moment, that's what we've got to do. Um, somewhere on my magnet board I'm sure I can find 12 magnets, the same to rescue and stick in the rotor. But uh, this is what we want. It's um, probably a little bigger than what John is using. but. Um, I think it'll do the job just fine and of course it fits in here just nicely with enough room either side for our uh, small magnets. So next task is to machine this up, uh, rip that steel hub off, drill those blind rivets out, rip that steel hub off and then uh, machine our shaft carrier and uh, bolt it up to the flywheel that we've got here so um, we'll go ahead and get stuck into that and as usual I will uh, keep you updated with a update video. Cheers guys.